Right, we've got absolutely nothing working. It's into alarm status. Oh, it's happening. Something's happening. It's gone to alarm again. Right, that is a bit of a disaster. These f batteries are a f pain in the arse. I can't believe this is happening to me. I absolutely can't believe this is happening to me again. So our battery's back, it's in this box. To charge all the ones that we've already got installed up to 100% and then charge the new one, make sure that one is as near to 100% as possible. Uh, get them fully charged before putting them all together. And uh, that's what we're gonna be doing now. But the weather isn't lending itself for much charging. We're gonna be running the generator. charging to and our PV is just complete rubbish today it's even it's actually better when there's snow on the roof than when it's this grey right so we've now just about fully charged our batteries we've got a little bit more to go well, that says 100% and um, so what we'll do is we'll turn off the AC loads turn off our loads with the, the switches here now we're in the dark and I can put my light on using the eco flow There we go, we'll put our power on in the house again. They said that they'd have our battery back within two weeks and they did. And, and actually the uh, service that's been provided by this company that I think works for Pylon Tech, Mechanical Electrical Renewables, SWS. Uh, the company that they're using was absolutely brilliant. They kept us in the loop all the time. What was the problem with our battery? Yeah. So, this is the report, battery service report that they get from them. Really good. Battery view screenshots that they've done. Pictures of what the voltage is and all sorts on there. Thorough. Now, system error, 0x10,000 PC board communication anomaly. Is what the major fault analysis from logs is. So, they've now fixed it. But the fault said, fault could be cured with firmware update but replaced PMU slash CMU board as a precaution. Now whether it was just a firmware update, you can decide from the rest of this because um, it perhaps could be done. It could be a, pro a fault with the firmware, I don't know. But uh, it says, uh, extremely uncommon fault, replace board, uploaded newest firmware one V1.7, Charged battery fully discharged under load and trickle charged back to 100% at 2 amps over a few days to ensure the correct battery cell balance and operation all working okay. If this battery is connected to others as part of a stack and not a standalone, please charge all batteries, including this one, to 100% sock individually before connecting together so all cells are balanced to avoid error codes and alarms when reinstalling. I know all these are already good, are already balanced because we've already done battery view and um, these are working perfectly, these batteries. So I'm charging them to 100% now, together. I've got 31 watts left to put in them. So they are fully, fully charged before we start charging the other one. After asking how we should install our um, battery, this is what we've got, really good. In fact, this guy that uh, dealt with this should write part of the manual for Pylon Tech because it's so clear and uh, makes a lot of sense. So this is how it went. Uh, good morning Fraser, I would suggest installing the, this battery as the new master with, with it now having the new fir newer firmware to the existing batteries in the stack. This version 1.7, the existing will be 1.4 but so you're aware this isn't a jump in firmware as there are no other versions in between. 
the battery we have sent back will be as close to 100% sock, give or take a few percent potentially lost with shipping time. To ensure the whole system will be balanced exactly, please charge your existing battery to 100% also before reintroducing this one. You can do this as a complete stack, but if you notice one or more batteries have a different amount of charge indicators lit up, uh, you may have to break the stack into individual units and charge 100% individually, either through PV or a grid force charge through your inverter. Recommended, should it have that capability. So that's fine. Uh, and then he carries on to say, it's a myth that the batteries will balance themselves if turned on and left connected. They may share a few volts between them, but if connected with a different sock, this difference will always remain the same. Although the sock lights will suggest otherwise, they will light up as if some of are charging and some are discharging, which may be how people come to that conclusion. Now, yeah, I, I mean, I absolutely come to that conclusion and I watched a YouTube video on the guy switching them on, leaving them. This could be how people come to that conclusion. The manual, the dreaded manual from Parlantech. Now, it says here, during capacity expansion or replacement, when parallel different sock slash voltage of modules together, please maintain the system in idle for 15 mins, or till the sock LEDs become similar, one dot difference before normal operation. They don't say anywhere to charge these to 100% and then put them together in this manual. In fact, that suggests to me, I mean, come back with any of your views, but that suggests to me that they sort themselves out, they balance themselves, that they do move around, but they don't. You know, I'm, I'm fine with this guy. What he says is, is I've got no quibbles about what he's saying at all, but this needs yet another version. This, this process should always be followed when extending an existing system as unbalanced batteries will cause high voltage alarms and equally low voltage alarms. In some cases batteries can be driven into permanent alarm states depending on how extreme the difference in balance is. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fine. So that's where I was at. So now I think while this is just charging this last little bit we'll get this battery out. These things are blooming heavy. Okay, so I'm just looking on here and there's like little tiny switches on here, little like board rate switches. They're all down on this new one, but all my other batteries, they're all pointing, they're all switched upwards. Either that's happened in the box or that's something that they've done deliberately. Should they all be pointing up? <sighs> that's a pain. Right, so that's my first thing I've got to find out. Have a look in the manual and find out whether the, that is something they've done deliberately. I'll have a little read. Right, so I've, um, I've switched those switches all back up the way. Uh, there's a little thing there that says add and it's things like a board switch. And um, I don't know enough about it, but all my other ones are all facing up. I think it might have been just something that got moved in the box. It should all be the same, so um, I've put them all back up. So we're, we're now we're fully charged. I'm going to turn things off, so I'm going to turn this uh, uh, PV off. So basically got to start powering everything down now. Our load is already turned off, yeah, so I'll turn the generator off now. I'm just going to turn this inverter off quickly because this actually uses energy doing nothing. We're off, we're running on the EcoFlow with our lights and everything. So now I need to move some batteries around. That's the EcoFlow making that noise. Next thing to do is turn all our batteries off. So I'll just press the red button, let them all go off, and then we'll turn them all off individually. Right, no lights flashing at all now. Um, through pressing the red button, they've all gone off, uh, but to put them off properly, they all need to be individually switched off. Off, off, off. Off, off, off. Right, now I'm going to move this battery out of the way <coughs> and put this battery in its place because it's going to be the master. Charge it individually without connecting it to, up to any other batteries. <sighs> right, so yeah, so all I'm going to do is earth it to the others, and um, but it will be plugged in separately. It's not going to be connected to them either by link ports or by um, any power cables. Oh, God. Oh, God. Heavy things. No 
Now, before I plug it in, I'll just switch it on and make sure everything is... Uh, There's a light flashing, so that's a good sign. Turn it back off. Right, let's get her plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually plug it in to this side here. I've got 40 amp fuses rather than these 8 amp fuses. Put that back up to there. little red alarms thing but that seems to always come on when you do this. Right we've got absolutely nothing working. There were some lights flashed up there for a second. It's into alarm status. Oh it's happening. Something's happening. It's gone to alarm again. Right, we better switch this off because this is flashing things up and it's not really doing what it's supposed to do. Right, that is a bit of a disaster. I'm not connected to it, these are all switched off. This battery is on its own, it's not running the inverter. It's only supposed to be and it's not having it for some reason. Could it be those board rates that weren't? that were all different to all the others. Was that something that they did? Let's turn it off. These batteries are a pain in the arse. Let's check this out. I mean, it's been working. It's all been working fine before. Let's take the back cables off it again. <sighs> take this out. We'll switch it on. Turn this on. That's not this doing it, that's the uh, EcoFlow. It's flashing. Let's try again. Push the button. Turn it off. Just make sure it is going. It's yeah. Right, put the that in there. Try the other ports this time, I guess. Goes into alarm state, little red light, which just happens and it settles itself. I should be seeing things come on now though. After a little while, we should be seeing it run our MPPT's light should be coming on. They flashed quickly and went off because it went into alarm status. It just seems to be staying in alarm status. So I've wasted my time again with this battery. Seriously. Seriously. Right, it's doing something now. How slow? No, it's gone into alarm states again. So it's not working. I can't believe this is happening to me. I absolutely can't believe this is happening to me again. 